Very lucky run though. Four moon shields and shot. Yeah. Four moon shields and shot is pretty freaking crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I, this is my new favorite build in the game. It's just so nice. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Even though we did lose there, to be fair, it's still pretty damn nice. I like how, I don't know, it feels like it's kind of versatile. Because it's like you can literally do this build with no skills. And if you end up getting skills, it just makes the build so much better. Especially if I get the garlic skill, bro. Garlic skill will just make this way better. Investment is really good with it, too. I don't mind struggling in this early game. I'm not going to lie. As soon as I get my skill, that's all that matters to me is getting that skill. You can take all the health you want from me. But when I get that skill, my friends, ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. Depending on the skill I get, of course. Ooh. We have to go investment opportunity. Piggy Pinata wouldn't be bad, though. Like, realistically, Piggy Pinata would not be bad. 20% less stamina wouldn't be bad, but no. These two. Piggy Pinata wouldn't be bad. That's like a really nice economy. Piggy Pinata. Especially since I already got two pigs, but. Investment opportunity for the late game. And this is just good economy in general as well. Another pig. Yeah. I'll go both of these. I might sell the uh, walrus tusk actually. To uh, get that garlic for a little bit more damage. Possible. I saw my food. Nice. And a BB. Now we just got to get that stamina potion again. I wonder if this is viable to rock with a, uh, a totem. Because we're at three uh, stamina. We're going to rock a banana regardless. Wonder. That double pan build you faced a while ago, they might have been angling for a hard wood build. I just got wrecked by a normal pan with that jank skill. The pan doesn't work though, because the pan is a rare. Right? That skill only works with common melee weapons. And that's a rare melee weapon, so that shouldn't have worked. Or shouldn't have done anything, rather. I look, you want to get this flying garlic just to get a third. See if we can get like three. Um, what you call it? All right, we have a lot of money. <laughs> we are getting six extra gold around. We have to get this Excalibur, especially if we win this. Definitely winning this. Okay, we need to get the ex six extra gold, bro. Starting, we got 16 gold. I do not need anything here. This would be nice, not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna pass on it though. Six. Round six, no eggy. 
Oh, it's the Amulet of Energy. That's so good. Alright, no more pigs. We literally don't need them. <laughs> we have five pigs in it. Like... No. No more pigs. I'm putting a ban on it. I'm banning myself from pigs. No more pan is common? Wait, what the f- Wait, 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 wait. Is this not rare? Wait, 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 No, 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 hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's showing common here. Wait, what? I swear. I sw- Was I looking at the blueberry when I hovered over it or something? <laughs> I kid you guys not. Oh my god. I swear I thought it was rare. Alright, I take what I said back. I thought it was a rare, it's not. <laughs> wow. Oh no, I don't want to go into round 7 with just this. Damn it. I'm going into round 7 with just this. Lucky garlic user. To be fair, I passed up like three corrupted crystals. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try Hexblade. We're gonna try Hexblade. I don't need the deck of cards then. Fourth Corrupted Crystal, by the way. How do you get a skill? On round four and ten, that's when you get the option of choosing a skill. But you have to be on beta mode. I don't know if you're like, you know, on beta mode or not, but you have to be on beta mode for you to uh, get the skills. But yeah, it's every round four or round ten. We're not gonna get very far if we don't <laughs> get this Excalibur, bro. And we ended up getting Jerry too. This is unfortunate. Hey, at least we crit though. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please come again. Ten? Nine? Round nine. Hmm. Nah. Oh, you're not on the beta. There you go. Once you join the beta, though, that's when you get them every round four and round ten. Probably losing this. But we will lose no longer. Damn it. I knew I should have gotten that armor. Maybe I should go Dark Ritual, actually. Because, uh, Cursed Dagger? Sure. Like a weird different iteration of this build. What is the plan? Super super uh shrooms. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. But yeah, that's the plan. The plan is super shrooms. Mana generation and super shrooms. And double amulet of energy for some reason.
All right. Uh. How can I? Here? All right, that works. Let's do boom, 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 and that's a lot of food. I wonder if investment opportunity, because it says item uses buff if this procs this makes this activate even if it doesn't have the buffs but does it count towards having the buffs i wonder i wonder kind of crazy if it does <laughs> look I have a good ton of food generation here What do I even have deck of cards for, bro? Deck of cards are literally useless here. Aha! You have no Excalibur. You decided to go for the Pandanomium instead. Nah, bro, go for an Excalibur. You literally have Smelly Wall. Like, I would just go for an Excalibur. That's just, you know, me. <laughs> Personally. Now, where's the other one going to go? Here? No. Here. No. Uh... No. Well... Here. That, that actually works. Yeah, that works. Um, yeah, this build is, uh, this build is kind of set in stone. The only thing I need now is survivability and protection against burst builds. So I need to get caps, any type of survivability, realistically, but like caps. Toad wouldn't be bad. I'll get both of those. I don't need this. I don't need that. I don't know why I'm holding on to it like I need it. Rotate this to move you down. Like so. We get so much money. Oh, look, a cap. And snake, snake cat build. Interesting. Boom! 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 <laughs> I'm just looking at the freaking mana generation, man. Hey, he put on a lot of poison on us. I gotta put respect on that. He put a good amount of poison on us. I mean, his doom cap was every 1.8. And then he was healing a lot from this. To be fair. <laughs> this is a good way of countering blind, though. <laughs> you generate, like, you, you don't have a use for your luck. So, like... This is just your blind counter. That's it. We just need survivability. We need counters against survivability. Honestly, man, going for a pananomium here might be banger. I'm not going to lie. We can move the entire deck up by one. Or even we could put a pananomium up here. I'd rather have it down here, though, I think. Should I do that? Just for the extra poison gain, it would be like an extra, what, like three, five poison per hit? A 
I'm actually considering that. I don't think it would be bad. I kind of want to get my defense going. I kind of want to save this Corrupted Crystal for some defense. I'm going to pass on it. Another Toad? That's good. There goes my defense. That it hasn't been an issue for me. Oh yeah, it's definitely not going to be an issue. Like Excalibur plus Banana, you, will, you won't have stamina issues with any items you use. Ever. Ever. I think I was just being lazy here. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. That was the I made that choice out of pure laziness. It's the only thing it came down to <laughs> is me just being like, yeah, I don't really like. It. That's it. the blade let's see we don't have much defense this is gonna be scary but at least every time we hit we activate so that's really good and now we have a little bit of defense there goes more defense did I get this heart container? Maybe it won't be bad for the maximum health. Because we're definitely going to get the maximum health. Oh, I forgot. Gingerbread Jerry's here. I won't mind a, high, a heart. I don't mind. We'll get a heart. about putting it anywhere for now. now I'm gonna start getting some of these I don't even know what I'm hoping to get out of these <laughs> what am I hoping to get out of this what jewel what jewel or amulet what amulet would be good for me oh amulet feasting I wouldn't mind an amulet feasting I guess Actually, no, no, we should probably just W key the more doom caps at this point. Because we have two amulet, like, we have two energy amulets. We should just go for a uh, feasting. Uh oh, rainbow goob incoming, almost. better like a better build I don't even need that thing <laughs> but why not why not get it of blueberries yeah I don't need the blue oh death scythe all right we're doing this with a death scythe <laughs> on sale oh shit uh oh uh oh uh oh <laughs> are they better are, are they better does they have pandanomium that scares me the fact they have a pan and they actually have a pan and scares me. I'm not gonna lie. 
That's frightening. They also went cauldron. That's frightening. I mean, our mana generation is better. And our defense is better because we have corrupted crystals inside of armor slots. But they should inflict more poison than us, I'm pretty sure. And we got Gingerbread Jerry. But I think they inflict more poison than we do. But at least we crit and they don't. And then our maximum health is better. Nice. But yeah, they definitely inflict more poison than we do. <laughs> but we crit, which is great. And then we also have the maximum health and everything. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do here. Let's, I'm thinking we move this up here. But we need both, but yeah, we need, yeah, we need both, so. We can do that. This alone, not bad. Not bad at all. That probably means we're not getting any more Doom Caps. We're definitely not going to be able to fit a third in here. At all. We could probably put you over here, though. So you can benefit as well. That'll be nice for you. Um, Cursed Dagger. Here. Perfect. You don't know yet. You're in the sidelines for now. get another stamina sack. Hey. That's a lot of stamina sacks. Whoa. Alright, let's see here. I need, like, two slots. Three. That'll work. I mean, I want you to, like, be affected too, but that's not gonna. That's just. That's probably not gonna happen, right? Realistically. I guess I could do this. That kind of works. It's two there, one there. Like that's good. That's good. We'll just yeah, that's good. I'll settle for that. I can I can do that. Yeah, that works. Alright, we got, what, one star? We might as well just put that on mana generation. And then, a bunch of food. Or a bunch of money. And then a bunch of food. Oh, we've got one more star slot for stamina. So we got our 1.7, so one of these stars needs to be stamina. That's gotta happen. Yes, it does. Alright. Yeah, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work, that'll work. Okay, I don't need this. <laughs> Alright, do I need you? Well, actually... For the starter mana, it wouldn't be bad, theoretically speaking. The starting mana, it would not be bad. I'm surprised we actually got a freaking death side. We're gonna put so much poison on with triple corrupted. Like, bro. 
We are unstoppable right now. As long as we don't get bursted down, we are unstoppable right now. Look at our block. Look at the poison. Look at the block. Look at everything. <laughs> like... 160 poison. His healing... His 19 vampirism... With, with 30 damage... Doesn't matter. <laughs> his amplified healing... Doesn't matter. His healing curve goes straight flat. You might have healed 200, but uh... I love how that healing curve just goes <laughs> straight flat. How much block did we generate? We generate 300, no, 450 block. How are you generating so much armor? Because corrupted crystal, when, when it's inside of an armor slot, seven debuffs inflicted, you generate six block. And since we generate so much poison, all of that is just debuffs to generate block. And not to mention with us having Cursed Dagger, Cursed Dagger gives us accuracy and also gives us crit chance per debuff. So our crit chance is like a 200% chance to crit right now. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, it is. So we're hitting for like 30 damage per because of the crits. But poison is like our main thing. So we have poison. We got defense because of the block. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing we have to worry about realistically is just being bursted down at the start of the game. But like, we have Glowing Crown, we got Capra Resilience. Not much that can burst us down realistically. I'm trying to see if I could find a good spot for this. That wouldn't be a bad spot. I guess. <laughs> only thing I'm looking for now is more corrupted crystals, I think. More corrupted crystals, more armor slots to fill in these piggy spaces. That's really about it. We're just looking for uh, like items to fill up the piggy spaces. I don't want to buy a whole nother crown, though. Or blueberry. We don't need blueberries. We don't need toads. Don't need that. I'll take this cap. Oh. I tried to get infinite poison with garlic wall. Four crystals and four, four scythes? Sadly, the game engine doesn't work that way. Wait, what happened? I thought I'd get infinite poison with garlic wall. So you had garlic wall, four crystals, and four scythes. But sadly, the game engine doesn't work that way. How would you get infinite poison that way? Because you have garlic wall, so you have a bunch of garlics. Oh, because the block that you gain inflicts poison. Oh, so the block that you gain from the corrupted uh, crystals gives you poison, right? Wait, what do you mean the game engine doesn't work that way? Is that not how it works? Do you not gain the uh, the block generation from a... Uh, I mean, do you not gain the poison from a block generated from the corrupted crystals? Does it only generate from the garlic? I assume. That's really good, though. I didn't even think about generating uh, poison through the... Like, that would make this build way better. Getting garlic and replacing some of these star slots with just garlic. That's extra block and poison, like, bro. <laughs> My golly. I don't even need any more mana herbs. Don't make me do this. Don't. I'm having too much fun. It's gonna make me do it, isn't it? I got a lot of money. <laughs> I don't care. We're gonna buy it anyways. I 
That's a lot of scythes, my friend. It is. That it is. Certainly. A shit ton, even. Crazy. All right, this is the build. <laughs> double Death Scythe, double Doom Cap on an Egg Scalaver with four mana orbs. Honestly, it might be worth to get another banana, or it might have been if I was able to like get one. Like, truthfully, we could put one, like, right here. That's because we have a double dev scythe now. I don't know if we got the stamina generation for that. Oh, we're going against a cold build. Ooh, this is going to hurt. I'm scared. Let's see what happens, though. Slightly scared. Yeah, we don't have the stamina generation. I mean, we're not stamining out yet. But he is hitting us for 175 damage. Yeah, damn. <laughs> damn it. 